My name is Graeme Dark, I'm a Senior Lecturer in Medical Oncology and I'm based at the University of Newcastle. Salary of all consultants is determined by the NHS and is um, uh, arranged through the BMA and that's all published and therefore you slowly increment up a national scale. Salary can also be improved if you are working extra sessions or if there is waiting list initiative funding for you perhaps to run an extra clinic so you may supplement your salary in that way. Salary is very topical at the moment because some people who seek a bigger salary are being landed with a bigger tax implication, particularly in relation to their pensions. And those that work eight PAs or four full days, actually there is a slight advantage to that from a pension perspective than if you work full time or more than full time at 12 PAs. In terms of private practice, there is considerable private practice in oncology in London, less so in the Northeast. It also depends on the type of specialism you have within oncology. So there are patients that wish to seek private practice for those that wish, and there are some people like myself who do not particularly have an interest in developing that. I think what's also important to remember when developing a practice outside of the NHS is that you need to consider how you're going to support those patients and the likelihood of those patients becoming seriously unwell at short notice. So I guess if you're happy to give up all your weekends and see patients out of hours and maintaining a work-life balance and deciding do I want to see private patients or do I want to spend time with my young family and for a lot of people that is the more important decision.